Hello, how are you? Not really. You doing good? Okay. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. Over here on my channel, I am a woman sharing my many journeys of many things. Mostly what you will get over here though is home content, home decor, transformations, before and afters, projects, home vlogs, all the things home. So if that is your kind of thing, feel free to subscribe, join the tribe, we would love to have you. By the title of today's video, you already see. Yes, girl, we're going shopping again. But not only are we going shopping, we are gonna have a haul. I'm gonna show you the things I got. I got some good stuff. Ooh. I'm also gonna give y'all like a sneak peek and share like my color story, the kind of vibe and theme that I wanna go with this fall. And the fact that I even have it not completely figured out, but kind of like have an idea of the flow where I want to go. Just makes me even more excited to share. So this is for you if you don't want to get out and shop. If you're not ready for fall just yet. If you're not ready for Halloween just yet. Because we're going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there as well. I've never decorated for Halloween before. I have decided that I am having fun this year. I'm just going to do whatever feels good for me and my home. So if you want to get inspired, see what is in the stores. Don't worry, you don't even have to go out there. I'm going to bring the vibes to you but before we head out there get all the inspiration on what we can bring into our homes this holiday season i want to thank helix for sponsoring this video sleep is a huge part of our overall health helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door everybody's different and helix knows that they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to match the perfect mattress for you. They make something for everyone's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for the both of you. Based on my results, Helix matched me with their Midnight Luxe mattress. I'm personally a back and a side sleeper. I like my mattress, not too firm, not too soft. I've had my mattress for a few weeks now and I've loved it so far. Because it's high quality, it is heavy, but I was able to unpack and set this up all by myself. I have always had struggles with sleep, so it has been a priority and a focus for me to just continue to elevate my sleeping experience. You can personalize your mattress even more by adding the Glacio Text cooling cover. It is literally cool to the touch. <laughs> It's a great way to keep cool during the hot summer months. I naturally overheat, so this was one of my favorite features. I love my Helix mattress, and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. I have a special link in the description box below for up to $200 off of your Helix Sleep Mattress Plus, two free pillows. And again, thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. Maybe the upgrades I've been doing to this bed your girl's been sleeping good all right y'all y'all know the drill grab a snack grab a drink sit back and relax i went to home goods target i went to hobby lobby and while there's like so much out there i focus on sharing things that i have not personally seen so let's head out and then we'll come back and i'll show you all the things that i got <music>
All right, y'all, we're back. And as you can see, the shelves are continuously being filled, okay? Shelves are continuously being filled. So it's still a good time to get some good things, but I'm gonna hop right into showing you the stuff that I got. Now, while I am out here shopping and browsing and just kind of like seeing what is out there, I'm not going crazy and I'm not bringing things that I don't feel I'm actually gonna use. So I didn't go completely crazy, but I definitely got more stuff than last time. I only got two items last time. Right now, y'all, I am getting in the feels and like I was just getting so happy and excited for not just fall and Halloween but just the holiday season in general I just got this feeling that I'm gonna be able to make so many good memories and really sit back and enjoy this holiday season I'm just excited anyway so just to kind of share my style if you're already here you know I'm a neutral girl I like clean creams whites calming earthy vibes so probably not a surprise i'm kind of sticking with that same thing for fall but with the twist because i want to really cozy it up so this year my color story is going to be like the auburn rust type color the ambery browns and like the taupe cream so nothing crazy right maybe maybe throw in like a muted mustard so not like too deep and bright but but you'll probably get more of what I'm saying as we go but that's kind of the color story I'm going with and of course we're gonna throw some white in there so I'm not gonna throw up fall leaves and pumpkins all over my house but I wanted to just like kind of cohesively come together so yeah let's start with home goods oh not fall related allow yourself time to grow honey pink low main on Instagram if you don't know now you know. I picked up a couple of her pieces. Okay, so the first thing I got y'all was this candle holder. Oh my God, do you see this? I just thought it was so unique in shape. I love that it's brass and not like a yellowy, too bright, too much gold. But look at the design and the shape of this. I love how open it is. So like visually, it won't take up too much space. It'll be beautiful with candlesticks in it, obviously. But when you really look at the shape, you gotta think versatility. Something can go in here. Something can wrap around it. It's just so many things you can do, whether you use it for fall, Halloween, Christmas, spring, summer, like this is super, super versatile. It was $19.99. I think that was a really good price for this, but this is gorgeous. I have plans this holiday season for a kitchen nook makeover. And in my mind, I see this over there and it's just in my mind. Y'all know how I go, the vision, the vision. So I got that from Home Goods. Also from Home Goods, I got these little cookie cutters. They're little pumpkins and they're so cute. I like that there's so many different sizes. So even the bigger one, I could make like pumpkin shaped pancakes. Look, okay. There's a part of me that believes that I am going to have situations where we're making cookies, okay? Pumpkin flavored cookies and festive pancakes. Have I had those thoughts? several times in the past and have never done it yet, but this year is different. <laughs> These were $3.99. I thought that was a really good price. I really just like the depth and the simplicity of these. I like it. I like it a lot. Now y'all, if you know me, you know I'm a candle addict. In those drawers, they're still filled with candles. So I have personally been on a no candle purchasing okay i'm currently burning pumpkin pecan waffles okay from a couple years ago so i have intentionally not allowed myself to go crazy on the candles but when it's unique and tied to what i'm doing i'm allowing myself a couple splurges here and there so i got one fall theme candle and that is this here and it's just so cute to me it's kind of bright but i don't know if you can tell it's got like a marble finish to it it's not just straight white it's got a glass is very heavy look at that that's gorgeous right three wicks i think it's gonna burn nice this is sand and fog and the scent pumpkin harvest just think pumpkin spice mm, smell it's fall man it's fall it was 14 dollars 99 i just think this is gorgeous 
It even has like a leaf on it, like the little details. It really be little things for me. <laughs> also from Home Goods, and this is kind of a bittersweet, so tell me what y'all think. I got this wreath. How freaking gorgeous is this? Ah! It's just got just all the shades of neutral for me. It's such a natural, simple piece. And I'm thinking this will go right above the stove. Look at it. Ooh. Now here's my dilemma and you probably have already noticed. You see how this beautifully goes out this way? That does not, I have tried to bend it, but I think these are actual dried florals because they just, actually no, I don't think these are actually dried florals. These are dried florals, this is wood, and this is like, I don't know what it's called, but you know, they're off. They're not the same. Now to the naked eye, if it's up and it's, you know, just a part of the decor, I don't think it'll be a super huge eyesore, but it bothers me. The only thing is, I've been to several home goods after purchasing this. They don't have it no more. It's also not online, so I have a dilemma, y'all. On top of that, if that wasn't bad enough, it's dirty, look. It's got a dirty spot right there. I know y'all looking at that like, girl, take that back. Also, why didn't you pay attention to this when you purchased it? I don't know. I didn't see it. But see, I'm giving y'all a closeness, but just picture it like this right above the stove. I don't think it would be crazy. I think that this just isn't what you see all the time. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, simple, yet statement piece. So I think I'm gonna keep it. This was $24.99. I don't know, I might return it, I'm not sure, but I really, really like it. Tell me what y'all think. Also from Home Goods, I got this little kitchen towel set. Not necessarily like all the colors that I am gonna be using, but I could like save this and use it for Christmas. Yellow that I was telling y'all about, that I might like include like little bits into my decor. This is a little bit more orange than the auburn that I'm adding, but I don't know. I just like the combination of these colors for some reason. So even if it's like around Thanksgiving or something, what really got me is they are like super, super thick and really good quality. They were $12.99. That's a lot to be paying for some towels, to be honest. I didn't know it was, I didn't know that it was $12.99. Bianca, all right, Bianca. Next, let me show you what I got from Target. And this is like my favorite thing that I've gotten so far, just because the color just gives me, it's setting the tone for the vibes that I'm bringing in for the fall. Are y'all ready for this? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is a six foot garland. It's eucalyptus, but it is in that auburn color. It's like that rusty brown with like a red undertone. I am living for this, y'all. When I saw this, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the vibe for fall, but not too much of it. Sprinkles of it, but adds some more warmth around it. This is from the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia collection. It's a little more expensive than I wanted to pay. It was $24.99 for each. I got two of them. Cause what I plan to do is just kind of like put them along here. Oh my gosh. And with all the bright, clean colors that I have, I think it's gonna just be a perfect addition to that area. So this is like the groundwork of my fall vibes. I got two of these. Yes, girl. <laughs> Along with that, I also got like this little mini wreath in the same type of eucalyptus. This was only $9.99, same collection, hearth and hands. This is kind of coming off a little more ashy than it actually is. So let me change this color so y'all can kind of see it a little bit better. Does that give you a better look at it? This will be nice like around either candle holder or like I said, that candle, that candlestick holder. It could just be used as a wreath somewhere inside for a door. Low key, if I wanted to, I could kind of take some of these pieces off and add it to another piece. Like if I wanted to add pieces of this to that home goods wreath that has a little bit of damage just to kind of bring some color to it. I noticed that these are not being sold online for some reason and they are not necessarily in stock in a lot of stores near me. I don't know how it is for y'all, 
but these are the kind of things that you just grab put them away until you are ready to decorate because a lot of the target collections go pretty fast so tell me what y'all think about the auburn vibes are you feeling it are you decorating with this color let me know now from joann's i think i make kind of like an impulse buy because i'm not sure about it so let me know what y'all think i got this place in time floor mat see that I think it's probably going to start tipping away from the theme I want to go with. It's a little more colorful than I want. Um, I just liked that it was plaid, but not your normal or simple plaid. It, you know, had the had the more fall theme colors, but honestly, it's given Thanksgiving, and I don't necessarily want to give that. So I think I might take this back. What do y'all think? I don't know. It's also got like the fringes on the end. It was 40% off too, I think. Oh, it was 50% off. So I paid $12.49 for it. And while it's not bad, I'm just not necessarily sold on it. I don't love it. Don't hate it, but I think it might not be for what I'm doing. I want to keep it earthy. I want to keep it grounded in here. I also just picked up this little hand towel from Joann's. This was actually from like the summer clearance. It's like 70% off. Very simple, very simple, but, but it's just floral. So it would still work for fall. I only got one thing from TJ Maxx and this is just like this container canister. It's supposed to hold your cotton pads. But I mean, really, it'll hold whatever you want it to hold. But I loved the color, like that neutral brown. I love the pattern, the beading, the top. It's just a very subtle, warm piece. This was $6.99. This was $6.99, and I thought that was a really good price. From Marshalls, I got two things. This one isn't, I would say, necessarily fall, um, but I'm going to use it around the fall because the scent still gives me very warm and cozy i just got this room spray vanilla bean from dw home y'all it smells whew, so good so freaking good i like their room sprays because they aren't too potent but they are potent enough to like linger a little bit in your home so i had gotten this this is a really good scent this was five dollars and 99 cents I have signature home sprays like Comfort from Bath and Body Works, the Vanilla Patchouli, that's like my like signature home scent, but don't sleep on the DW home sprays. They are really good quality. Also for Marshalls, I might have to back up a little bit, are these pillows. As you can see, a rusty color, a little bit brighter than the eucalyptus, but if you look a little bit closer, it's got like little hints of it in there let me darken it up a little bit for y'all see that it's just that brown with the undertones of red y'all so i got a set of two of these i think this is a nice little subtle warmth to add to the couch i do want to find another set of pillows that aren't necessarily this color maybe more along the light brown taupe color that isn't like in your face fall like happy fall y'all or just two mini pumpkins and embroidery and stuff. Maybe something cozy, bouquet, or even if it has like an outline or the feel of a pumpkin, if that makes sense. I want it to be so subtle, but still there. This set of pillows was $29.99. And they're nice, thick, and soft. They have the zipper, so the cover does come off. I actually didn't know that. That's actually a good thing I'll be able to reuse the inserts if I wanted to. Okay, so lastly, in the fall category, I wanna show y'all my Hobby Lobby finds. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna have to back up for this. This shirt is from Shein, by the way. I don't think it was any more than $10, y'all. Ain't it cute? It's given the Louvre in Paris. It's given Mona Lisa. It's given work of art. You know what I mean? Anyways, so I got two of these baskets in this size, okay? And I got two of them in this size. Very simple. I still don't even know what these baskets are called. Baskets. Bucket baskets. I don't know, girl. Let me see. What is it called? The decor basket. Anyway, I got two of the small ones, two of the bigger ones. They, of course, had a sale, um, so they were 50% off. This one was $15, so I got it for $7.50. This one was 
$20. I got it for $10. I think it doesn't have a sticker on it, but I'm pretty sure I got this one for $10. Ever since I went to the at-home store and I was in the floral section when I saw these baskets, I envisioned them being a part of like my front door decor where I could get like some real seasonal flowers um, to add to my outdoor decor. So what I do like, my fall type outdoor decor, you know, hopefully I'll be able to put this together like I have it in my mind, but I think it's gonna be really, really nice. Just a nice extra added of just those wood tones out there. I think it's gonna be nice. I do also plan to put some pumpkins out there. So I got a few of these straw bales, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I just have a vision in my mind. I just want it to feel so welcoming and comforting. So I got two in this size and I got two in a little bit bigger than this, not huge. I know it's gonna create an entire mess. It's gonna be a whole thing. But I remember last minute wanting some of these and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I went ahead and got four of these, two small ones, two medium sized ones. I'm a little nervous. I feel like this might start to lean me towards farmhouse. I don't wanna go for that, but I'm gonna play with it and we're just gonna see how it goes. Will I use this? I think so, but I'm just not 100% sure yet. These were 40% off. So this was like $14. I'm not good at math. I know that half and half is seven. It was probably like eight something. Anyways, 40% off, okay? All right, y'all, so mostly everything that I got was very intentional, like I know where it's gonna go. I can, in my mind, see where I'm gonna put it. This was kind of like an impulse buy, because I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I do feel like it's gonna come in handy. So I got, I got two sets of these mini fall wreaths from Hobby Lobby. And look, it's also got that color. Now, again, it's coming off on camera as like orange, but it is that rust color. Not as dark as the garland that I got from Target, um, but I bought this, I bought it all separately. And in my mind, it wasn't really intentional color-wise, but it's got the same type of vibe. I just thought this was very dainty, cute, and fun for fall. I just realized this one does not have any of the color so that's interesting oh lord look I two different ones but these were 40 percent off off of 12 dollars. you know they could hang somewhere maybe somewhere in the office go around a candle i don't know now that i look at them i don't love these i don't love these but we'll see what do y'all think about these and in that same section i got these two like mini wreaths it's coming off like gold but it is actually like like a tan color, like a tan color. Simple, you don't even have to explain it. Just very simple, this is also 40% off. And y'all, favorite, favorite find, period. It was also from Hobby Lobby, I have to show you this. Now bear with me, honey, because I don't know how I'm gonna get this to fit into the frame, okay? This is a lantern, I have two of them. This is glass on each side. This thing is heavy and dirty and look at the freaking size of this y'all oh my goodness first of all when i first saw this i was like oh this is given farmhouse right but i immediately thought i'm gonna paint this black if i paint this black it completely changes the entire energy of this piece however for fall i think i might even keep it as it is but it retail for 149 dollars yeah, I definitely cannot see that, but it says $149. This was a part of their summer sale, which was like 70% off. So I got 70% off of this, y'all. I got two of them. They were about $41 a piece, which for this size, y'all, heavy, meaning it can sit outside on my patio and not have to worry about it being like blown around by the wind, y'all. I can use this in the front of the house, in the back of the house in my living room the versatility of this is like crazy it has a handle okay i know for a fact i'm eventually gonna paint it black but i think i might play with it how it is for now oh my gosh i was super happy to find this i got two of them and i got them in a set from hobby lobby if y'all are looking for furniture pieces because they also had things like coffee tables mirrors desks 70% off. Even though they're done with that season, they are selling things that you can use in your homes now. So do not sleep on these store clearances, y'all. But this was by far one of my favorite pieces. Like, like I really want you to get into the size of this. Oh my gosh. Yes, girl. 
All right, so that's the fall portion, y'all. I picked up some good items that I'm super excited just to kind of like add pieces of fall into my house. Oh, let me show you something real quick. This isn't something that I bought today, but it's something that is a staple for me every fall. So I want to kind of give you a heads up if this is your kind of thing. One second. Okay, I just went to my Miss Myers holiday stock and I'm too ashamed to actually bring out how much of this I actually have in stock. But this Miss Myers acorn spice is a fall staple for me. I stocked up so much last year that I couldn't even get through it. But this is also one of those things that are limited during the fall season. A lot of times it sells out. A lot of times it's hard to find. So if you like kind of like the fall spice to me, it has like a vanilla scent undertone. This smells like fall. It's my staple for hand soap. It is my staple for cleaning. It actually does clean. I don't have to buy it this year. I'm just using my stock from last year. It literally still has the tape on it, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to point that out. Have you smelled this? Do you use this? What are your thoughts on this? I always buy it from Target. And I just wanted to share that. Also real quick for anybody that is new and you may have missed my last fall haul, check it out, feel free to do so. I'll, I'll link it up here. But here is my front door wreath. I went ahead and decided to keep this one from Michaels, y'all. And it's really because the other one, while it's beautiful and while it kinda, it is me in a sense of like my decor style, the neutrals, I think it's safe. I think it is the safe option. And I think this is more of a challenge and it gives me more options to be creative and different with my decor. So, so this is the wreath that I decided to stick with. This is from Michaels. It retailed for $69.99. Um, it's not available online anymore. I don't know if it's gonna be coming back, but yeah. All right, y'all, and now that I have showed y'all all of my fall vibes that I have so far, I did pick up some stuff for Halloween. Say what you want about Halloween. I know it, to some people, is a controversial thing, which I am not gonna discuss. To me, Halloween is memories. Let me tell you, as a kid, Halloween was one of my favorite times. For my family, it was basically tradition to go to my aunties and uncles' house, all the kids, big and small, head out, go trick or treating, get all the candy, come back y'all, dump out our candy, we trade candy, it just, Halloween was probably one of my favorite childhood memories. And you know what's crazy about it? Is that we did not have a lot. I was probably a witch for several years. My sister was once a bubble gum machine with a trash bag and some balloons, but you know what? We had the best time. Like we were legit using trash bags to trick or treat and we had the time of our lives. So while I've never decorated for Halloween and I'm not gonna go like crazy and all out, this year I am just gonna have fun with it and add some Halloween vibes to my house. Just as tribute to the inner child in me that got so much joy from all things Halloween. So let me show you guys some of the things that I picked up. All my Halloween things are pretty much from Home Goods. One from Home Depot that I'm gonna show y'all. But think whimsical, think fun, think light type spooky. I, look, I can't even tell you last time I watched a scary movie. I don't want real life paranormal spooky vibes around me. <laughs> I'm just, that's just never been my thing. <laughs> but the pops of Halloween I wanna put around is more of like the fun, spooky, cute type vibes. I saw these two pillows, y'all. And first of all, the colors. I don't like primary colors. I love pastels, light, fun colors. Do you see this? How freaking cute is this? This is Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. These kids don't know nothing about Hocus Pocus, first of all, okay? But I think this is super, super cute. It's got the little stars on it. I think they're coming out with a Hocus Pocus too this year. Somebody told me that, I didn't look into it, but I wonder if they're gonna keep the same original actresses. Let me know if y'all know anything about that because I will be watching it. But look at this. This is like that sage green. It says boo. <laughs> I love these two. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these in the living room or in the office. I feel like these pops of color will go really, really good in the office, but because the office already has color, I think it might be fun to just like toss it down here on my couch. So these are $14.99 a piece. It's like that sweater material. So it's like a really good, really good quality, y'all. 
I freaking love these colors. Just looking at them makes me happy, y'all. So, Ooh. I got this spoon holder, which kind of gives me like witchy vibes. Kind of going with the hocus pocus. You'll see I don't have like a theme theme. It's like allowing me to have fun with like pops of color and just like little pieces that I like separately. But I love this, some matte black with the moon. This was $4.99. It's got the zodiac signs on the finger. <laughs> Gemini on the pointer finger, cause baby, <laughs> I see you, <laughs> I see you. Okay, I'm pretty sure I showed this in the walkthrough in the store. There are so many like, so unique, beautifully designed skulls out there and that I really wish that I wanted that. I even almost, a part of me kind of wanted the skull that had all the flowers on it. It was like white with the florals on the front. But it's something about a real life looking skull that just doesn't sit well with me in my house. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on the skulls as far as decor. I'm finding my Halloween decorating style. I, I don't have one, I've never had one. But I think I'm learning that skulls specifically aren't for me. But this right here, the skeleton hand, y'all. How? Freaking cute is this. This is given spooky, but still glamorous wallflower. I just think it's so cute and so different. I, in my mind, I can put it in several different places, but when I saw it, I'm like, oh yeah, let me grab that. Let me grab that. This was $14.99. It still has the nice pastel, but with that little spooky vibe. Oh wait, let me see. Can we make a heart? Sticking with cute spooky y'all. I have been to the store several times and have seen her and I haven't gotten her. But every time I see her, I look at it and I'm like, you so cute. So the last time I was like, I'm just gonna get her. And that is this little ghost. She's a little ghost and she's purple. And she's got a bat. In my mind, if this is her pet, and he's telling her something and she's listening like, ah. Let me turn this down a little bit so you can kind of really get a vibe for the purple. She's purple, see? Ooh, spooky, but cute spooky, see? Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute, I had to get her. She's gonna go somewhere. She's probably gonna go in the office. What's her name? She's so freaking cute. And she was $14.99. And last Halloween thing from Home Goods. Hold on. I'm not a huge fan of quotes and words and sayings on things. This is strange coming from someone who was once addicted to Ray Dunn. Like my entire kitchen had a label on it. Not a label, but you know, Ray Dunn literally says what it is. Pot, coffee, tea, cookies, mug. Everything had words, had sayings. That was a phase in life. So let me be clear. I'm not completely against words and quotes on home decor. I don't consider it an option so that if something really speaks to me that has a word or a quote, I'll feel okay with getting it because it's not adding on to so many other phrases, if that makes sense. Now this spoke to me. Ooh, happy Look how cute that is. First of all, I've only seen this once. So I knew I had to get it because this is gonna be one of those things where I'm sure if I probably go to Macari right now, they're probably upselling this. This is a Ray Dunn piece. I actually have Ray Dunn rugs in my master bathroom and the guest bathroom. One says, I woke up like this. The areas that aren't like on display are a lot of people don't access. I don't actually mind it. The ones I have there now are white with black wording. And if you know anything about these Ray Dunn bath mats, y'all, the quality is so freaking good. You just throw them in the washer, they clean, they keep their fluffiness. They don't like tarnish or break apart. They last very, very long and they are so soft on your feet, child. I can't even, look, look at the deep colors. I'm not a fan of orange, but this is giving Halloween. So, so it was $16.99. Not only did I find the Happy Halloween one, hold on one, hold on one. I also found Witch Please. Look at the quality, oh my gosh. So one's gonna go obviously in the guest bathroom, one's gonna go in the master. So now I'm just gonna like kind of figure out the soap dispensers and stuff. But these were actually 
really good finds. You know what I realized? Like for the most part in my main areas, I love it neutral, I love it calm, I love it clean, but there's still a part of me that loves the artsy parts, the pops of color, the fun, and Halloween is gonna allow me to like have fun with color without having to commit. So I think that's gonna be like the extra fix that I get around holiday season is like having fun, being playful, but still having my own little Halloween spooky aesthetic. Yeah, I'm learning and creating my Halloween aesthetic. Oh yeah, and speaking of that, I think I'm gonna get some bats and like trail them along this wall here. Not too much, but just like, that extra little spooky vibe. <laughs> okay, so for the last thing of this haul, save the best for last. I know I've said a lot of these things are the best. I really do love <laughs> the things that I got y'all. That's the importance of just going with your own vibe. But this last piece y'all, a little fun fact about me. My favorite Halloween movie is also my favorite Christmas movie and it is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Favorite holiday movie in general. I'm childish, gives me nostalgia. I watched it as a kid, I watched it as an adult. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I specifically love Jack Skellington, okay? I know I sound like skeleton heads. This is a completely different thing, okay? Look at Jack! Look at this, y'all. And I'm about to show you what's really, really special about it and knew that I had to get it because this is gonna be an item that is not gonna be in stock for a very long time. So let me show y'all real quick because we are losing light. Oh, it's kind of perfect considering what I'm about to do, but <laughs> hold on. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> Look. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn the exposure all the way down for this, but y'all have to see it. Y'all have to see it. It's gonna get dark. Ooh, spooky. I got two of these, because one, I panicked, okay? I got two of these. I wanna have a Halloween party, right? And I wanna have a Halloween party. I feel like that light will be a nice vibe in one of the rooms. Or, since I have two, I could do a situation where like, if I find like a pedestal for each side. My outdoor, I think I wanna do sprinkles of Halloween, but I don't wanna go like all out. That can get expensive. That's another reason why I don't wanna just go crazy, because this stuff isn't cheap. I'm pretty sure this was like $44.99 a piece. Here's a nice little picture of maybe like a better view of what you get. It's it's given psychedelic, it's given fun, Jack the Skeleton. I really love the colorway of this. But that is gonna complete this haul, y'all. I am completely losing sun, but I am so happy with the things that I got. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what is your favorite piece from the fall section. What is your favorite piece from the Halloween section? What are your thoughts on decorating for the fall and for Halloween? Have you gotten things? Do you plan to get things? Do you already have a color story in mind that you're going for for fall? Are you gonna do a theme for Halloween? Are you having a Halloween party? Like I legit wanna talk all the things fall on Halloween because I am really just getting more and more excited about the holiday season. I, I'm gearing up for it. And I feel so good that I'm just being more intentional and like ahead of things this year. So make sure y'all comment below. I'm gonna meet y'all down there. Also, let me know this. If you decorate for Halloween, do you decorate for Halloween first before fall? For me, I, I feel like I gotta decorate for fall first. I feel like I don't wanna bring the Halloween vibes until like end of September, come October. But again, this is my first year even decorating for Halloween. So let me know your thoughts, how you do it, how it's normally done. I'm pretty much just gonna go with how I'm feeling, but I would definitely still like to know how y'all do it, okay? Thank y'all for spending your time with me. I hope that you enjoyed the things that I showed and the things that I got. When I tell you that we have some exciting stuff coming for the house, for the channel, we got some exciting stuff coming for the house, the channel. Uh, so get ready. <laughs> I have my outdoor rug that I ordered off of Amazon right there in the corner. I have my outdoor furniture set being delivered tomorrow. So things are happening. So make sure your notifications are turned on so you do not miss all the good fun stuff that is coming. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. And I'm thinking of putting it right above the, what do you call that thing? You packing and they lacking. You great and they late. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Also from Home Goods. <laughs> happy. I am really happy, y'all. Plan to do is just kind of like put them along. Where, girl, where you at? Hold on. <laughs> it's beautiful.
Dolce and Caban. Dolce and Caban. Okay. I put a spell on you. Not ghosty. Anyways, you'll probably think I'm insane. Oh well. Welcome to the club. See y'all in the next video. I go I won't good. I go I won't good. I go I won't good.